eight minutes past the hour. In the meantime, new clues to the Paris terror attack investigation. Police in Belgium say they have discovered three homes used by the suspects to get ready for the attacks on November 13th. Fingerprints of the suspected ringleader found apparently at two of the sites. Benjamin Hall's on that. He's live in London now. If these discoveries play out the way they are right now, what would they tell us, Benjamin? Well, Bill, ever so slowly, investigators out there are seeing what happened in the days leading up to those Paris attacks, what the attackers themselves were doing. And just today, Belgium authorities announcing that they had identified a third home used by the suspects to prepare those attacks back in November. The latest was an apartment in the Belgium town of Charleroi, about 20 miles from the French border. Investigators say that they discovered fingerprints of suspected ringleader Abdelhamid Abaoud and one of the suicide bombers, Bilal Hadfi, in the property. No traces of explosives were found there, but police did discover several mattresses. The apartment had been rented for a year in early September 2015 under a false name and paid for in cash. The discovery of the houses follow numerous raids around Belgium since November and follows the discovery of another two properties where the men are thought to have stayed and prepared bombs before driving across the border. Traces of explosives were discovered in one and belts which could have been used to make more suicide belts. Bill. There is still one attacker at large. Even today they have not found him. Is there evidence of him there yet? Nothing so far, and that, that's one of the reasons that the terror alert level is still so high in Belgium and France, it's this fear of another follow-up attack. But CCTV footage has just emerged showing Saleh Abdeslam. He's the attacker who got away at a gas station in France, close to the Belgian border, just hours after he took part in those Paris attacks. According to people who worked at the gas station, he appeal, appeared calm as he bought his coffee. It's not known if Saleh is still in Belgium, but it is known that he was trying to reach Syria after carrying those out. In some more positive news, one of the bars where people were shot in Paris is now reopening. Le Carrion, where 15 people lost their lives, is set to open its doors again next week after the bullet hold walls and glass have been replaced. And one of the family members of the owner saying, look, what happened happened. It's time for us to move on to get over it. We've got to try to start having a good time again. Well, Bill. Benjamin Hall, the latest on that investigation. Thanks. Live from London today.